In our lifetime, we've all encountered holes or at least seen them with our very own eyes. Whether it be potholes on the concrete pavement, dug up holes in our backyard, or even a hole that's sitting in your bedroom wall. They all seem like a pretty insignificant thing. However, sometimes we stumble onto larger and deeper holes that pique our interest and make us wonder, what is down there? In today's episode of the Urban Legends, we're going to cover the ominous hole found in Siberia by Russian geologists that is supposedly claimed to be known as the well to hell. Does this hole even exist? Is it all a hoax? And even if it wasn't a hoax, does it really open a pathway to hell as rumors state it does? Let's dive deep into this mystery right now. This legend takes place in a remote region of Siberia. A team of Russian geologists drilled a hole into the permafrost ground that was considered to be 8.9 miles deep down. However, once they neared the 9 mile point, their drill began to spin wildly, which indicated that the drill had broken into a larger area. The manager of the project that goes by the name of Mr. Azikov made a decision to lower the several heat resistant microphones into the hole, along with an array of other measuring tools. Once the microphones were placed down the hole, the temperatures measuring up to a whopping 2000 degrees in Fahrenheit. It was so hot that scientists believed that they have reached the center of the earth. However, the microphones also returned something that was much more sinister. The sounds of wailing human voices. It was said that these sounds were so terrifying that the scientists immediately left the project due to its fear. The scientists heard human voices screaming in pain that sounded as if a million souls were crying and shrieking in the never-ending torture, hence how the name Well to Hell was formed. But with this urban legend being told as a story by others, is there any validity to this legend? Well, yes and no. For starters, there was never such a geological drilling expedition in Siberia. There was a similar project in the Kola Peninsula located in northwestern Russia. That project was known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole, and it was fairly tame and well coordinated by its scientists. Although the team did drill a deep hole, the expedition team did not find anything supernatural. Instead, they examined mineral resources, tested new types of drilling equipment, and won the bragging rights for their mother country. Because after all, every geologist wanted to work for and claim his or her name on the deepest hole in the world. It wasn't until the year 1989 someone wrote a fictionalized version of the Well to Hell story, which immediately captured the intention among the Christian publications in the US. The fictional story eventually reached the Trinity Broadcasting Network, also known as TBN, where the editors decided to run with the title, Scientists Discovered Hell. The story eventually became a huge success that TBN did a follow-up broadcast of the story, even citing quotes from several of the quote-unquote geologists that happened to be present during the discovery. However, a radio host that goes by the name of Rich Bueller did a thorough investigation on the validity of the Well to Hell story. Bueller did all the legwork by tracing the story back through various publications until he eventually found a Finnish newspaper called the Menustasia. It was later discovered that TBN cited Menustasia as its primary source which was considered to be a credible Finnish newspaper, but in reality, it was an evangelical Lutheran magazine. The staff member from Menestasia apparently had written this fictional story from memory after reading it from another newspaper called the Atela Soman. Atela Soman supposedly had a section in their paper that was purposely unmoderated, so readers were able to submit anything and anything they wanted without any verification whatsoever. And due to such serious chain of events, the urban legend of the Well to Hell story was born and was now concluded as a false hoax. After the investigation was over, Rich Bueller wrote on his blog stating, quote, characteristic of many urban legend, this story was alleged to have occurred in an obscure part of the world where it would be virtually impossible to track down the facts. And once the story got started, people began quoting one another's newsletters to validate their own. This is the stuff of which tabloid newspapers are made, end quote. At the end of the day, the Well to Hell hoax is a great example of how urban legends evolve. A good story starts to spread, 
and each retelling of the tale adds another element. Hell may be real, but you won't be able to find it with a team of geologists and a big drill. But the next time you find a big hole, will it just be another hole that returned no sound? Or will you be hearing the wailing cries of another human being? I just want to say thank you to everyone who ever watched this video. If you can, it would be greatly appreciated if you can smash the like button on this video and share it to others. But most importantly, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. Also, please feel free to tell me in the comment section below on which urban legend I should do next. This is Mr. Shin Ramen. Till next time, stay safe and stay scared.